Red Dead Redemption 2 is quickly approaching, and this will be our first new Rockstar game since 2013 in which we saw the release of Grand Theft Auto V. This will also be Rockstar's first game made specifically for the current generation of consoles of the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Because you know Grand Theft Auto V originally came for the Xbox 360 and PS3, and it was later brought to the consoles that we have today. But this will allow the developers at Rockstar a lot more freedom in terms of creating the ultimate experience they wish to bring to us gamers. With that freedom comes comes a plethora of new and old gameplay features coming to Red Dead Redemption 2, which is why today we are going to be going over 32 gameplay features that should and could be included in our next Western experience. But before we go through these features, if you have not heard, I am doing a giveaway for Red Dead Redemption 2. All you have to do is check the link in the description to enter, which also has a lot more information on this, and just be an active subscriber. Also make sure to get geared up for this upcoming Western by getting the popular Blood Moon t-shirt design if you're interested in getting this Red Dead themed t-shirt or any of the other other designs, there will be a link in the description as well. Nonetheless, we are going to be going through this as a countdown. A huge shout out to everyone following me on Twitter who helped me make this list. But we're going to begin here at the 32 spot with swimming. Say as you wish, this was a feature I think most of us wanted in Red Dead Redemption, and I think traveling and exploring rivers and lakes will be a lot of fun. I think I'm almost certain this will be included, and looking at the first trailer of Red Dead Redemption 2, there does appear to be a lot of water within the open world. At the 31 spot, this actually directly connects from the last one and that is boat travel, which clearly could be seen in the first trailer showing two individuals on a canoe. This will also be a great way to add more travel options to the game, and if the leaked world map is to be believed, this could connect us to some islands. But next to the 30 spot, we have gang hideouts, which was a lot of fun within Red Dead Redemption. If you don't know what this was, maybe you didn't play Red Dead Redemption, don't know why you haven't. It was pretty much a gang location that we would have to clear out, usually with assistance from a non-playable character that has a specific reason to clear the location. Seeing bigger and more hideouts in Red Dead Redemption 2, along with better loot and maybe some special weapons, is what I'm hoping is featured. But to the 29th spot, we have basic activities. Red Dead Redemption featured a lot of things to do, and seeing poker, drinking, bounty hunting, blackjack, arm wrestling, horseshoes, five-finger fillet, and liar's dice all back should be a given. But next up at the 28th spot is another basic activity planned gathering, but this should be expanded to be used in making more money off certain plants or having more of an overall importance, possibly being used to make other items like medicine. Although I'm on the fence if Rockstar would ever introduce any type of crafting element, which I would expect would be needed to do this. At the 27th spot, we have his difficulty modes, as I think it would be nice for casual gamers to have the normal, typical Rockstar experience, but also like Red Dead Redemption had later on, a hardcore mode which gives more of a challenge to us. Next up at number 26 is the wildlife, which I'll be looking for an active world where we see animals actively hunting each other and working like a real ecosystem, which was teased in the first trailer. So would it not be cool to take take out a rabbit to later come back and see vultures eating it, or even a deer running away from a pack of wolves, this is a feature that would add a new level of immersion that you don't often see in video games. At 25 is Dynamic Weather, the last game that really did a good job with this was The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and I would love to see a blizzard take over the map for some time, or even the actual effects of a powerful storm. As we'll be adventuring the west a lot, having storm winds with tree branches flying around and debris going everywhere would again be a nice touch to the open world and add some more immersion. Now, 24 we have is non-playable character interactions. Red Dead Redemption did a phenomenal job at this, with having criminals escaping custody, or even bandits setting us up for a robbery. These were just a few of the many possibilities. Having this expanded and seeing gangs attack a town, gangs battle other gangs, or just helping a random character find a missing item would be nice. I guess what I'm saying is some variation is what I'm going to be looking for. But at 23 is Stealth, which was used minimally in Red Dead Redemption. Being able to actually play this way would be nice for certain missions that we wish to play differently than the typical gun blazing style. I remember in Red Dead Redemption, we had one mission in Mexico where we had to sneak onto a train and take out the soldiers with throwing knives. If we were able to actually sneak up from behind and silently take down enemies, I think that would be an appreciated new feature. At 22 we have his Stranger Missions, which was the equivalent to side missions. Red Dead Redemption had some really fun and unique ones that got expanded upon as we adventured through the West, and I think we all know we'll be seeing them back again. My only hope is maybe some more choices with some of these quests, and we have to see the Strange Man return. 
Now to the 21 spot is treasure hunting, which was a lot of fun searching for in Red Dead Redemption. The rewards felt a little disappointing to me, so being able to get more items than just gold is what I'll be looking for. At 20 is brothels or working girls. John Marston had an excuse for ignoring any of this in Red Dead Redemption as he was a married committed man, but whoever we follow this time probably will be different. So maybe having that adult element that Grand Theft Auto has with strip joints or like The Witcher 3's brothels will be something that could translate well into this western setting. To 19 is Job. Being able to become a sheriff, rancher, or blacksmith could be very interesting. In Red Dead Redemption, we could take limited roles by being a Night's Watchman, but seeing that expanded and having our character more involved with whatever job could be a lot of fun. At 18 is the Rockstar Editor, which to be honest, I think most of us really want to be able to make our own cinematics from this upcoming adventure. In Grand Theft Auto V, it's described as allowing players to record, edit, and share videos created from the footage in both Story Mode and Grand Theft Auto Online. So seeing that in Red Dead Redemption 2 should be a given. Now, the 17th spot is racing. In almost all Rockstar games, it feels we have some sort of racing. In Red Dead Redemption, there was actually quite a bit of main missions incorporating this, so seeing this more of an activity in Red Dead Redemption 2 is what I'm hoping for. At 16 is different mounts, other than just horses. A few weeks ago someone sent me an image of a cowboy riding a bison, and I really thought that would be cool if we could have some unique mounts other than just horses and maybe like mules that we had in Red Dead Redemption's multiplayer. Next up at the 15th spot is melee. For some reason in Red Dead Redemption, this was near obsolete, and having a better emphasis on this in hand-to-hand -hand combat would definitely better suit the gameplay. To the 14th spot is dual wielding, which has been seen quite a bit so far, and being able to sport our favorite revolvers in both of our characters hands will be a ton of fun for those who enjoy the gun blazing playstyle. To the 13th spot we have his properties. This was in Red Dead Redemption somewhat, but being able to buy businesses and possibly run them sounds like a great way to earn some money. At 12 is hunting. In Red Dead Redemption we got that nasty screen when we gutted an animal, and bringing that back would be great if they were able to give us more options with how we use the animal like skinning certain parts or transporting the whole body somewhere else. This could make this feature much more enjoyable and valuable. Now at the 11th spot is probably one of the most common request and that is first person mode, which I truly feel should be included as an option for those who wish to experience combat in the world from a different perspective. This worked well in Grand Theft Auto 5 and it could work well in Red Dead Redemption 2. Stepping into our top 10, here at the 10th spot we begin with challenges. Like in Red Dead Redemption, becoming Legend of the West once again will be a major goal. The only change would be maybe having challenges less involved with getting every outfit in the game, but the 9th spot is an interesting one and that is running and operating our own gang. In online we can expect full support like how the biker DLC was handled in Grand Theft Auto Online, but having this translated over to Red Dead Redemption 2 single player and online would be a smart addition. At number 8 we have his better loot. Being able to scavenge ammo, money, or weapons from down enemies was great in Red Dead Redemption, but in Red Dead Redemption 2 featuring more collectible items would allow us to get some better money whenever we need to purchase things from a general store. I will say that Red Dead Redemption did have some different types of loot, I guess you could call them more rare, like picking up pardons, so seeing some more variety is what I think I want. Next at 7 is customization. From the first images of RDR2, we've seen weapons with unique designs on them and characters featuring various outfits and items on them, like jewelry. So obviously in Red Dead Online, having an option to fully customize our character's appearance, NBA 2K or Fallout 4 style should be expected, especially with the available technology. But seeing custom weapon designs or being able to alter our outfits could be a blast to make our characters feel a little bit more important to us. Following that at 6 is weapon variety. In Red Dead Redemption, we had a lot of weapons to choose from, such as revolvers, explosives, repeaters, sniper rifles, and so on. But if Red Dead Redemption 2 does offer more of a native presence, we have to have the bow and arrow and more melee weapons like swords. But getting into our top 5 here at the 5 spot is the iconic duels. I'm not really sure if this needs to be changed at all, but this feature just was so unique, whether it was battling the German Müller or a random non-playable character. At the 4 spot is the ragdoll physics. Some people will disagree with this, but most of the physics in Red Dead Redemption felt so much more authentic and realistic than Grand Theft Auto V's, like when you shoot a character in the leg and the reaction they have to it. This may seem like a small thing, but it really added a layer of immersion and appreciation of Rockstar San Diego's attention to detail. But next up at the 3 spot is the fame and honor system, which I feel is the best way to rank up our character. This was another extremely fun gameplay feature which rewarded us for doing bad or good. With fame, whatever we did earned us a higher reputation, while honor would earn certain perks for us whether we played good or bad. Seeing this in Red Dead Redemption 2, I hope it stays close to the same, maybe with more tiers and added rewards. Now the 2 spot is the Dead Eye 
targeting, which has to come back. This was in both Red Dead games before, and it kind of at least to me feels how VATS is to Fallout. It's a really fun and enjoyable gameplay feature, and I actually hope it's not changed much in RDR 2. But finally, at the number one spot is heist and robberies. Being able to rob a bank or store or train with friends or a gang or by ourselves is going to be a blast. If Rockstar incorporates the Grand Theft Auto master planning with certain heists, that could also be a nice addition, but I ultimately hope for a bunch of varying places to rob and hold up. Anyway guys, that is my top 32 gameplay features that I think needs to be and should be in Red Dead Redemption 2. Obviously I didn't get through all of them and I'm sure some of you have your own thoughts on some of the new and returning features, so make sure to share your opinion and ideas in the comment section below. Also make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing and turning notifications on for all the latest Red Dead Redemption 2 news and remember, Outlaws to the end.